Okay, so it's time for the heavily armoured zealot Redwalder to go down and you can find him at Venonice, which is just to the left of your encampment. You can see there is a fast travel place just on the map there. And, uh, and essentially he's a bit of a git, he's difficult to get any hits on, but I'm going to talk you through how I managed to beat him. Hopefully the video is going to help you out if it does drop a like below, but to begin with, you need to start thinking about your armor and your weaponry and making sure you've got all of those upgraded and, uh, and improved by your blacksmith as much as possible. That will definitely help you to finish him off quicker. And then in terms of your skill power, you want to be around about the same, which is level 90 or above. But there's a particular skill that you want, which is this missile reversal. It's right at the bottom. So you might need to reset a few of your skill points to be able to get to it. But once you've got the missile reversal, then you're in a really great position to take on Red Welder. And once you've got all of that set up, it's time to face him. And it's a good idea to head into the map to check where he is and then try to get yourself in a position to be able to ambush him a little bit. So you can see, I'm just gonna wait for him to come on past. And then once he's headed on past, I'm just gonna fire a few arrows at him to get his attention. But the thing that you're actually looking for when he's this far away is the little patch on his knee. You can see it's glowing orange. If you can get in a shot there, then you can seriously deplete his stamina bar and then just keep backing off. Because he's got such thick armor on, it's almost impossible to get any hits up close. However, backing off will also give you a chance to use the missile reversal, where you can just fire back his spear and do some huge damage. Sadly, it never stays down on the ground long enough for you to be able to run in and stomp him, but the strategy holds all the way through the fight. So back off, hit him with some arrows and return the spear. However, if you run out of arrows with any bow, then you can just change to one of your other bows to be able to keep on firing at him, and that'll give you a chance to use these. So he throws down these traps, which he will then happily walk into and allow you to detonate with an arrow shot. As you can see here, if I'd been quick enough, I could have returned the, uh, the spear as well. So try to work on that if you get a chance. But again, backing off, throw the spear at him, and that'll give me a chance to really chip away at his health. And it doesn't take long then to bring him all the way down. So again, here I was waiting, but actually he threw a spear. So I managed to fire that back to him, then wait for him to get up and walk into his own little traps. And that was enough to finish off Red Walder, who turned out to be a lot easier than he felt like he was the first time I faced him when I was like level 30 or whatever. And that is how to beat Red Welder and also Red Welder's location here in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As ever, drop a like below, subscribe with the links on the left, and check out the rest of my guide for Assassin's Creed Valhalla with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know how you get on against Red Welder, and I will catch you next time.